right, what are we going to do now? Well, we're going to make a base using this, the broom, to make a tea chest base with. And how do we do that? Well, you take your broom, and then you need a piece of string. Yep. And you need this, the most important element, the tea chest. And where do we start? Well, firstly, you take your piece of string, and you tie a very big knot in one end of it. Oh, whopping big a knot. whopping great knot. Then you make a hole in the middle of your tea chest here. You can either do that with a nail or you can get somebody else to drill a hole okay. for you, perhaps. Where do you get the tea chest from? Well, tea chests are often found around in attics because they're used by removal firms. When, when you move house, they put all the valuable stuff in the tea chest. So, right. uh, so maybe some knocking around the attic or maybe you could get one from a removal firm. Now, this is the most difficult bit. You turn your tea chest upside down and you thread the thin end of the string through the hole. You've got to be careful when you're doing this because some parts of an old tea chest can be quite sharp, can't they? Yeah, some old tea chests definitely you can get splinters out of. Why is it called tea chest, by the way? Well, they used to be used for transporting tea in when tea was shipped over from the oh, right. Britain, so that's where they got their name from. Ta da! That's right. If you've got a nice big knot in it, you can pick it up. Now, what you do is you take two nails and you bang them into the corner of your tea chest here, just yep. quite close together. Okay. And you take your broomstick, this is the trick. You stand your broomstick up behind the nails, wedge behind the nails like that. Take your piece of string and put it over the top of the broom nice and tightly. If you're and not tall enough, you can stand on it, can't you? You can stand on it, but if you're going to, make sure it's a nice solid tea chest. You're not going to fall through it because you could use up a bit of an injury like Ever that. Ever fallen through a tea chest? I haven't, no, <laughs> but I've never trodden a rotten one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and you tie a big double tie knot in this. a big in double this. knot in it like that. And then? Put your foot up on it. That's to keep it steady. Keep it steady. Yeah. And then. Hey, wow! It's a loud noise, isn't it? it? Well, it's incredibly loud because this is such a big resonating box. It's like having a double bass that big. And as you're discovering there, Timmy, as you pull the, uh, the string tighter, the note goes up. And as you let it go looser, the note goes down. Brilliant! Utterly brilliant! <laughs>